got bubbles, we got that. Alright, that's her passing the transom. Control copies. Page copies. Oh wow, that's different. That's not what it was before. Oh, uh, just like the uh, the phases are different before. I didn't, they were like 18, 19, 8, 17, but like, I, I think it's once we got in the water, so it's fine. Like, so don't worry about it. It's so creepy every time. Okay, that's uh, Atlantic clear of the vessel. Control copies. And bridge copies. Looks like they're starting to go down. Oh, yeah, because we need all the stuff. Yeah, 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 that's me. Sorry. Uh, uh, we are good for sonar. The, the clops. Yeah, but you need to turn on the Ethernet. The top one, the top one. Oh. 
Oh. Nice shot. Pilots, just let me know when it's ready to, we can, when they turned it over to you. Are we good to go? Uh, maybe uh, when, when, when we bump. Okay. When we, when we transfer. Sounds good. Just let me know. Motor's kind of high. Oh yeah, it's always high, at, right? It's always high until it gets to depth. You're right, dog. You. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. When you're right, you're right. Why are we so tiny? Oh, we're so, uh, it's because we're zoomed out. There's a lot of little fish going around. Like even in, uh, in Atlanta, you can just. Okay, looks like we have control. Hold on, preparing for bump. We got it. There's a bit of a delay. There's quite a bit of a delay. <laughs> Ready for descent? You ready? All right, let's go down. Engaging auto descent. What happened? All right, so what is your time utility? Okay. 
descending at 22 meters a minute. That's not right. Oh, that might just be the computer. No, it might just be the computer. It might be, it might just be the computer. Oh, you didn't turn on the ethernet. Huh? No, 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 like the, the, Then what powers the train clubs? Yeah. Oh, that says ether. Okay, I thought this was the. Uh, I thought this was the Ethernet bottle. I see that. It, I, it says ETH, and I'm like, oh. Yes, indeed. Um, but yeah, that's probably just the back, that's just like the backdrop of the computer or something like that. Oh, you mean this? You mean this this Meg one, right here? This right here? Yeah, it hasn't been it hasn't been consistent. No. Yeah, cause like remember like the when you first told me about it, it was like, oh, it was from forty seven whatever nine to twenty, you know, like when you brought it up, and then like I've noticed that it wasn't always like that, but, um, but when it does go down, it doesn't go. It's not consistent when it goes down. But it always winds up coming back up, so we'll see. Still a lot of ohms. That's so many ohms. So many ohms. Have fun, live life. Oh, we're coming against the uh, the end of the thing. We're coming into the end of a wrap on the winch. Huh? I can, if you want. I was just going to watch it. Yeah, I was just going to watch it. But yeah, you might need to slow down a little bit. I'd rather I'd rather you be I'd rather be able to see you in buck camp. Like I don't mind you being like ten. 10 meters below me or whatever, but if I could see you in bug cam, then you're good to go.
Okay. We are at 220 meters. You want the down line on? We got this. I'm going to do my lights on. Do you need me to restart something? Do you need me to restart beacons or something? I don't know if that's going to help. Okay. The back row is uh, oddly quiet. Hmm. We were just going to give we're it a couple minutes. Being respectful. <laughs> wow. We don't trust it. Yeah, we're trying new things out here. Uh oh. <laughs> don't trust it.
zoom in panels. That? That's kind of cool. Tina four. Is that bioluminescence or is it reflecting? It's reflecting off of the teens, off the combs. Um, they have eight rows of combs, comb jellies do. Um, and they use those to move around and so the combs are flapping and uh, they're reflecting the light. Very cool. All right, we have to get going. Bye-bye. Just like last night, there's lots of cool stuff as we use it past it. <sighs> okay, who's ready for another episode of KOAT? Some blue water radio. Time to get some music. <laughs> It's going to be a long You're watch. <laughs> it's going to we'll, be a we'll long, really we're long just, watch. We're, just, like, we're yeah, on the edge of our seats still. watching the USBL I, scenario unfold. Uh, okay. You're just trying to see how long it takes us for crack. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you need us. See, we're, we're trying to wait until you say you need us for your entertainment. Turns this out it wasn't very long. This is called te <laughs> teacher wait time. We'll, we'll turn this ROV around. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> you <laughs> ask a we question. I'm like, I can wait all day. You need us. We'll go back to sleep. <laughs> we all need each other. <laughs> we were exactly. outside all day. <laughs> yeah, True. Yeah, you know what? No. Yeah, let's bring it up. <sighs> oh, Tim. Uh, Tim. Sorry, Tim. No, it's not. N no. Yeah. Are you not getting anything? No, that's not it. Yeah. See? Okay, I might do this real quick. Hold on, yeah, but I'm being told that this is not the right one. Like, that's on the desk. That's the one we, that's on the thing. But we dove in it and it was on. So, I just turn them both on and see what happens. I'm pretty sure I'm right, but I was told that this should be, this is the Ethernet bottle that we were working on, which doesn't make sense to me. Well, because it powers, I mean, it, it I understand. It doesn't make sense to me either because it, it, well, it makes sense that it's on the table. We don't need to power it. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. I think we're using that port, so I do think that Trevor's mistaken. Okay. Yeah. So that's why we just turn both on. Because, like, in order happens. for, like there's something there because yeah this software switch is labeled could be labeled 
Because cotton I'm, candy, it doesn't mean it powers cotton candy. Yeah, yeah. It just powers a port, you know? I think he's mistaken. Uh, so they're on, so I don't know how long that takes. It also, I don't know if this is video or like if it's just uh, the P, because it's off the PC, isn't it? So someone could just do whatever they need to do on the PC. Okay. Yeah. From the, uh, before it went dark. I could try to go a little bit faster, I guess. No, it's all right. Let's, um, we're, um, wait, let's see. What are we doing? I'm doing 30 meters a minute. And good evening to everyone who's listening. We're just troubleshooting a few things, and we'll be with you soon. Good job, guys. That was just me. And you can tell by the claps that our troubleshooting is over. So we are ready to explore. My name is Ashley Glickley. I'm the science communication fellow on board the 12 to 4 watch. And we are diving on an isolated guillot near the northwestern limit of the um, exclusive economic zone surrounded by Johnston Atoll. Um, this is the second dive here, and we are going to, going to continue the exploration that we started before. Tonight, we're going to do something a little bit different. We're, as we introduce ourselves, we're going to say our favorite candy. <laughs> so my favorite candy is anything chocolate. It's not a broad, candy. That's broad. That is a broad. broad. Okay, a I'll be more specific. Gray. No, that's okay. You go, you, anything because chocolate is great. Chocolate, some people, I like what specific brand sugar. of chocolate? No, no, okay. some people don't consider chocolate <laughs> candy. You know what I'm saying? Okay, all right. What do you <laughs> consider <laughs> chocolate? It's ice cream candy. Oh, my goodness. Ice I didn't know I was not gonna candy. <laughs> oh, we, there's a lot of controversy with this one question already. <laughs> we were clearly prepared to answer this. So anything chocolate covered so okay. chocolate covered almonds chocolate covered peanuts do you like dried like like astronaut chocolate covered stuff like freeze-dried strawberries coming in chocolate like i don't oh, know if i've had good. those before are they good i like freeze-dried strawberries i, I don't per personally oh, no. love them but i know people do yeah i like to go to the uh, uh, to the iss you know just pick up some some freeze-dried strawberries some freeze <laughs> yeah <laughs> I actually don't mind dehydrated like mangoes and things like that, but I don't know how I feel about them covered in chocolate. Dehydrated mangoes? Oh, you mean uh, dried? Okay, dried mangoes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. All right. So I'm going to move on to my right. Our scientist That's aboard. Quick. Okay. Uh, hi everyone. Uh, hi, Isa Hogan here. Um, I'm part of the science team. I am oceanographer and I study deep sea coral mini sea pens and black corals and I am here to um, network with uh, ocean senses and my favorite candy sings ice cream is not part of <laughs> <laughs> well I need to defi better definition what it is uh, candy than this and controversies I don't I there don't know go. we can talk about the philosophy afterwards <laughs> What, what, would, what would you define as candy, then? Now, this is a big conversation. <laughs> First, we need a Band-Aid <laughs> answer to this question. Okay, just give okay, us a quick... Okay, like uh, dry Something mang sweet. Mango. Mangoes. I love it. All right. <laughs> she picked dried mangoes candy, everybody. Okay. <laughs> All right. Our um, in some places, that is a candy. Really, some places, that I'm is a candy. I'm very opinionated. <laughs> that is a candy in some places. Depending on, like, how crystallized the outside of it is, maybe. Depending yeah. on how artificial it is. Yeah, right. Um, anyway, <laughs> <laughs> now candy has my name is Lila Bellucci. I'm here to have a lot of opinions. <laughs> uh, I am sitting in the watch lead seat uh, on this watch, and I'm the science manager on this cruise. And my favorite candy, I would also love to say anything chocolate, but I, that's not an acceptable answer, so... Uh, 
Crunchy and chocolatey, like a Ferrero Rocher ball. Oh, really into yeah, that kind yeah. of thing. Nice. It's got all the good textures. I'm the kind of person who needs dessert after every single meal, even if it's a single chocolate-covered almond. And I also single. need something chocolate-covered at the end of that dessert. So if the dessert is like a, say I go for gummies or something, that's not satisfying enough. It needs to have chocolate at the end. So I'm very passionate about gotcha. it. Gotcha, gotcha. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> zoom in. Oh, what are we zooming on? Oh, I don't know. Squid. So I'm going to try turning this off then. Squid. Okay. Hello. Could you please? All right. Well, um, I am also in the back row. My name is Jane Carrick, and I am going to be data logging this dive, uh, basically taking notes on all of the samples we collect, all of the um, things that we see along the way, so that we can keep um, record of this whole dive and and make sure that we know what's down here. Oh, and my favorite candy <laughs> is I gotta go classic Reese's cups. <laughs> Not very controversial, I hope. Wait, was it? I missed it. Reese's cups. Reese's cups. Well. All right, Bye, we're going to start in the front row with our video engineer. Hello, I'm Panos. I'm the video engineer for this watch. Uh, I will zoom in, zoom out, and try to stay as focused as much as I can. Uh, I can eat everything that is covered with uh, chocolate, but I'm more uh, dessert uh, baklava guy. Oh. oh yeah. That it can also make very nice. Yes. Nice. Sounds delicious. Continuing on in the front row. Uh good afternoon, good morning, and good, good evening. I am uh, my name is Michael Vai. I'm a physics PhD student at UCLA. I'm the also the Atlanta pilot. I think I said that already, but it's okay. Um Not this one. my favorite candy. Oh man, it's like I got a couple, but I usually go my go to, I guess, if I see it. Um and I'm in a mood, you know? Jello. Abba Zabba. Abba Zabba. I have no idea what that is. You don't know what an Abba Zabba is? You nope. made those up. That's no, Abba Zabba is a, um, it's like a is taffy. Thing. Is taffy with uh, with peanut butter in it. What? Yeah. How is that good? It is delicious. <laughs> it's, I mean, well, okay, hold on. What? What'd you say? Okay, how is it good? <laughs> how is peanut butter and taffy good? Taffy? Good. Peanut butter, good. <laughs> Abba Zabba's, delicious. Is it like a fruit flavored taffy? No. Hmm. No. Okay. It's like, a, it's all its own unique, uh, unique flavor. I don't know if it's like, just like, it's not like the Airheads where it's just like a granulated sugar, just sugar. Oh, it's okay. like a proper taffy. I just don't know if it has a distinct flavor. Hmm. Um, other than just taffy. Did you bring any on the boat with you? No, I did not. Okay, because now I'm going to be work. I'm going to be look it up. It's so good. Considering this for a while, it is so good. It and it looks old fashioned. It's like it's in a yellow and black wrapper, like checkered wrapper. It looks like it's came out from like the 30s or something. Sounds interesting. Sounds like it came from the 30s. All right, continuing our introductions. Uh, hello, everybody. My name is James Barnett. I'm the Herc pilot for this watch, and Twizzlers are by far the most superior candy. I could see that. Twizzlers or Super Nibs, but those are all the regular ones or the uh, the pullaways. I like the regular ones. The the pullaway ones are too artificial. I don't know. You need a little like a little bite into the Twizzlers. Yeah. More of a red bite person. Oh my god! I I oh. I'm with you on that. I'm gonna red make oh oh no. <laughs> no, 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 no. We gotta make you guys walk the plank. <laughs> <laughs> All right, our last introduction. Hey, everybody, I'm Lynette. I'm the navigator. My favorite candy. It's so hard. It totally depends on what mood I'm in. Sometimes I want chocolate, sometimes I want fruity. Mm. So it just depends on, just the, on the day, on the hour. Yeah. My favorite candy. I can't sugar. possibly pick one. We have a statement in the chat. Abba Zabba, my, you're my only friend, it says. Oh, look at that. <laughs> look at that. Look at that. Wait, I missed this. Is so this Michael says his favorite candy is Abba Zabba, which I've never heard of before. You just put a bunch never of syllables together. It's not yeah. a thing. It that's is not totally even a thing. thing. That's not even a spell, like. Michael. It's amazing. It is totally a thing. Look it's it up. Abba, Abba Zabba. Zabba. 
I'm telling you. Abba Zaba Kadabba Doo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's no, Abra Kadabra. Yeah. Okay. First of all, Kadabba Doo's is it taffy. <laughs> it's more of like a peanut brittle. Uh, but no, uh, Abba Zabba's are delicious. Thank what? you. Did you already define them? Yes, it's taffy and peanut butter. Oh. And so yeah, I started like thinking like an airhead. Head okay, wait, I had this conversation with Renny the other day. Does that, for those who like Butterfingers, are there are there any who like Butterfingers in here? I like Butterfingers. I can't eat a whole one, but how do you eat it? Those who who eat Butterfingers with my mouth, with my mouth hole, <laughs> with your mouth hole, that, <laughs> solid. With your mouth, that, with your mouth that protrudes from your Bold. mouth hole, like the cusky. Bold. Yeah. <laughs> you just but you just take a bite of it. Yeah. Um, like, I so don't you're split not it into the different layers or anything. Okay. Yeah. That's what, what I'm asking. Whoa, 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 whoa. What I do you mean, like, layers? Like, I, I do know. that with wafers. I do that with, yes. like, vanilla wafers I or something I do that like with that. wafers. I do that because my grandma did that with wafers, so I just copied her P when I was little. Particularly, like, the, the strawberry ones. Those are the ones mm. I tend to do. But, no. Wait. Do people do that? Do yeah, people like I do, do it by layer? I don't you know why I do, do that. You separate the butterfinger. I mean, into I, layer? it's just like as I'm eating it, I don't do it on the whole thing. But you know, you peel open hmm. a little bit of it, and then I eat the chocolate off of it oh, first. Oh, I, I see what you're saying. I you, you it kind crunches, of it comes off otherwise. You know, like, you, you don't like pick at it. You just kind of like no, I, I would you, just bite off that you layer. You eat the chocolate because it readily then, readily comes. I know off. what you're talking about. I do that too. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. When I heard no, by Tom layer, I, I I thought oh, by the, layer. Oh, the butterfinger? That'd be ridiculous. Like, that's what I was. That was what I was <laughs> saying. That's why I was looking at you strangely. <laughs> and I was like, I do that with the wafers, you know. But <laughs> wow, that's beautiful. Ooh. Uh, Another Tina four. Man, I'm so happy that someone got an Abba Zabba. This is really beautiful. It is. That one, I only see four of the rows. So these are not even in the same phylum, phylum being like the highest level of grouping as uh, jellyfish are. They're actually their whole own phylum, the tenophores. They don't have the same stinging cells, those nidy, nidocytes that, that make um, jellyfish so stingy and certain like hydrocorals, like fire coral so stingy. They don't have that. Um, what they have is these- Turn the down lights on. Uh, um, oh wow, I'm forgetting the name, but they have sticky sticky cells instead um, that they use for feeding rather than stinging cells that they use you. for protection. Okay. Are they oh, cool. different colors on the inside? Sorry, are the girl. tenophores different colors? Yeah, are, oh, or like does tenophore. it have some bioluminescence or well, something? It looks like a rainbow I'm, almost. I'm sure that they do bioluminesce, but... Um, the the rainbow that you're seeing on the outside is just the reflection on oh, the combs. So they have these cilia, sure. rows of cilia that are fused together that they flap and use to move around. Um, okay, this is killing me. What's the name of Tinafor? Uh, you doing all right there, bud? I just thought of a pun, but it, it has nothing to do with anything, and it's just for me. <laughs> well, I'm glad you enjoyed it, though. <laughs> yeah, thank you. It's good. Is it called a coloblast? Yes, it's called a coloblast. Okay. Did that come Their to sticky you? cells are coloblasts. Okay. Okay. That they use to catch prey, but not not by stinging anything for defense. They or or grabbing things. They do you think well, they do kind of grab them, but by stickiness. Uh, do you think that's a zip tie on the uh, core too? On the cores, on the cores right there, that display link. Do you think that's a zip tie? Mm. Um, it does kind of look like a zip tie, huh? Yeah. Okay. Why are we worried about that? No. Well. If the water it, can't vent. If it was, yeah. If it was coming out from. Uh, it's been there for a while. So if the oh, and if the air can't vent, then we. Look, if the air can't vent. Yeah, if the air can't vent. If water we're can't get into the tube. We're 800 meters. If that was air oh, in there, that's true. You're, that's true. Crushed. That's right. I didn't even look at the thing. You're right. You're right. When you're right, you're right.
You're right. So <laughs> <laughs> triclaps working as well, or yeah, it looks like it. yeah, it's working. Cool. We're just solving problems left and, and right. Yeah, you guys are killing it this week for real. You're welcome. We're Thank you. To, to bring it back to life, though, <laughs> and it keeps dying. <laughs> and special shout out to all of your hard work today. Yeah, too. yeah, for oh. the big time. There will be no deaths on this watch. Amazing. Thank you so much. Yeah. Maybe next time if we're out there, you guys can come down and hold the tarp. You know, <laughs> so we have some shade. Or something, you know? I, saw some, I saw somebody holding an umbrella earlier today. I almost offered for that job because that's come about as much as I could help. Fan you with uh, big leaves, <laughs> palm leaves. Oh, please. We should have some on board, I think. That would be amazing. <laughs> I accept. Yeah, I didn't realize we were out there for like five hours, six hours straight. Rather yeah, sunny the out sun, there, too. Yeah. <laughs> It was so hot even at lunch just now. In the middle of the night, in the dark, it was hot. Just sitting there. It was kind of cold in here, actually. I, was, I put a sweater on. Feels great. Cool. Jane had a couple other conversation starters for us tonight, did you? Well, courtesy of some other folks on the boat. Let's see. I put them in my notes app. Um, oh, this is kind of a good one. What would be your walkout song? Like, if oh. you were walking out on... <laughs> you mean when you drop the mic and walk when away, <laughs> or when you're oh. entering? Actually, both questions. Let's say, what's your walk on and your walk out song? <laughs> well, I guess the question started as uh, your opening song to a life, your life as a movie. Okay. <laughs> oh, my God. This might have <laughs> already been used on so like deep life thinking. thinking. I don't know. Just pick a song. Now you, now you have so much context going on. Yeah. <laughs> too much yeah, context. That's too much. Over context. Pick five my songs. life is complex. <laughs> Um, well, let's, let's say walkout song, but I will say you can have some time to think about this, maybe. Yeah, I'm okay. I might okay. need to sit on that one for a minute. Um, other questions. What would you do in a talent show? What would be your talent? Oh, I like that one. <laughs> yodeling. Oh, <laughs> can you yodel? No way. No. Oh, yeah, we were, we were listening to yodel. Bad, so bad yodeling. Oh, but I'm <laughs> Austrian, <laughs> so it's, it's in there somewhere. Yeah, we were listening to yodeling early today. I believe in it. Really? You yeah. were listening to it? For yeah. Like well, yeah, it was, one of, it was on my playlist. It's a uh, yeah, the yodeling it's song. It's got a yodeling song. Yeah, I got two oh. songs. I got, there's like a Just one kidding. guy, he's like 80, 90 or something like that. And then, then uh, Hawaiian yodeling is amazing. Hawaiian yodeling? Yeah. It's actually quite catchy Yeah, Hawaiian yodeling is like, if we, I feel like Can we hear it? Ho yodeling was meant for Hawaiian, wow, because of the all the uh, all the vowel sounds and stuff. Like yeah, that. right. It was crazy. Yeah, that's a, it's you a thing. What? Look it up. I feel like could be a good talent for you, Michael. I don't know why I feel like you'd be good at this, but Mongolian throat singing. <laughs> 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 Can you care to give us an example of what that would sound like, Lila? Uh, absolutely no, I do not. Oh my Wait, God. This, you don't know what this is? Why is that? No. Yeah, we why? should be happy with Every, that. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Everyone I, needs to look this up. This I don't know I mean, how it, that They've feels. done it in Mongolia for years. Years. It's like a very, it's a, a like an old uh, art it, form. But yeah. but there's also this like newer band. Gosh, I wish I could remember what their name is. I, but they're a Mongolian rock band. And they're all about the throat and singing. They, they, they do they covers. They brought throat singing Michael, into like modern this? rock. And yeah. it's actually really cool. Yeah, yeah. I know. I heard they were in a podcast. You're like, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I've uh, never heard of meanwhile. it. Meanwhile, uh, okay. How do you feel about that, Michael? I have. I don't know. I don't. I've. That was. That was so out of left field. <laughs> that was like. That is so out of left field. It's like, the ball came from like the minor leagues into the left field of the major leagues. Like that's like. <laughs> I don't know. You should try it out sometime. Uh, let's hear it, Mike. Your it doesn't singing. have to be now. You can, so you can I warm heard, up. I heard a rumor that you're an amazing <laughs> throat singer. <laughs> All right. Rumor has it. <laughs> Is that your walkout song? No. <laughs> okay. That's so hard to pick up. I walk know. I don't song. have a whole lot of talents that are uh, but presentable. But what would you do if you could? Like, no. Oh, okay, you get to pick. I yeah. can yodel. <laughs> My only really, <laughs> this is so stupid. No, I'm not even going to say it. <laughs> I'm really good at Minesweeper. 
Is nice. that something I could that's, do? <laughs> no, that's a talent. You just like, I don't, even, I don't even need the flags. Oh. Yeah. So I'm kind of like, it's all lost. Really, I have deal. no idea what that is. I know I'm. I'm you still don't know looking. what Minesweeper is? The computer I game. I didn't want to admit twice to two things like I didn't know bombs. about. Bombs. <laughs> Windows 95 for the win. Okay, well that's probably not. An yeah, they don't have Minesweeper on Windows anymore. Oh, okay. No. That's but you know the little you dinosaur you can now. get to jump over things when you have an error on your, yeah. your Google <laughs> like side-scrolling game? Yeah. <laughs> the little dino jump in Google. Yeah. Yeah. I love that game. I've always really wanted to be able to juggle. Juggling. I think, uh, if, I, if I were going to like train to do something, I think for a talent show, I think that might be. Or tap dancing. Oh. I've always wanted to like tap just dancing nail an impressive. awesome tap dance routine. Actually, I always wanted to do magic. I always wanted to be like a really <laughs> good magician. Do I used to do magic. Stuff. Of course you, you used did. to do magic. I did, I did, I did the course as well. You did you magic? Do magic? Yeah. Wow. Haisa would be a, a, a magic magician? course. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. A course? I did. Yeah. What is that? And we had yeah. also uh, circus class in the university. You had a circus class in yeah. a while. And magic was part we could. Then I, I focused on the magic. You did. That was your focus <laughs> in circus class. Was the well, magic? Well, after I fell a lot, loads of times of the on the trapeze. <laughs> yes. Oh, wow. Cool. I changed. Up on trapeze would be an oh. awesome talent. You also yeah. do capoeira. I do. You what do very good capoeira. I heard well. because you <laughs> trained with. She's like, a I'm not. I'm. I barely know any capoeira. I've only trained with a capoeira master for yeah. six years of my life. It's <laughs> not an exaggeration. <laughs> but people train for their fighting. whole lives. Uh, yeah. It's yeah. Stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Front row talents that you uh, choose for yourselves. That like I choose for Are myself. These joke that one. Or real talent. They don't have to actually be your current talent. It could be Either something one. that you would do, like. It's August, and you know the talent show is in May, and you have all year to prepare for it. What are you going to do? Oh, I'm really good at that bottle flip thing. That, that <laughs> <laughs> the one that kid, the, the, the kids these days are doing? I don't know if they're doing it anymore. Yeah, they are. Kids, still kids, these, right? days, kids these days, a long time ago. Yeah. Kids love to flip bottles for yeah. sure. Uh, let's see. I don't know. You just have so many talents. I was going to say Mongolian throat singing. But <laughs> 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 uh, let's see. Talent. Uh, um, uh, just had another good one. I can't remember what it was. I think you'd be good at the spoons. Too. <laughs> I don't know how to play spoons. Throat, spoon, I used to play drums. I used to be a percussionist, and nice. we had to play spoons. <laughs> uh, see, yeah, I knew it. Yeah, I, I just I, had a feeling. Spoon man. I would love to see a list of all the jobs and like <laughs> things that you've done. Yeah. I pick up a lot of stuff. Yeah, it's very diverse. Um, Can you do any impressions? Yes, That's I can do impressions. I, like to, I wish I was good at that. Are they? Do they have to. Can Can you do them on command? I, or do they have to be inspired? I, 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 are they appropriate odd, for us? Oddly yeah. enough, oddly enough, yeah. impressions for me are like are the one thing I can do on command because I get self conscious about it. You cannot. Do it's like one of the things. few things I'm like, oh no, don't make me. Okay, well, um, so if you want to <laughs> drop yeah. a few like, in there, because my partner is constantly asking for like my okay. Kermit. Your Kermit. Kermit. Okay, I'll, I was I'll, just gonna I'll, ask who you can. I, ha I have a conversational Kermit. Like, uh, I can actually, like, instead of just saying, like, a couple words. Yeah. Uh, I used to do a really good uh, Christopher Walken, uh, but I uh, I stopped out. smoking. So, <laughs> so, like, I can't do it anymore. Uh, That's good. Yeah, well, I don't, don't want to put you on the spot. I was just curious if you could. I do. And what you yeah, I'm like, like if you want to break into oh. Kermit, yeah. just let us, you know, so just can't let tell us flow. you can do I a Kermit and not do a Kermit. Uh, let's see. Can you do Miss Piggy, though? Oh, yeah. Nice. Uh, Can you do Kermie talking to Miss Piggy in a whole conversation? Uh, I usually don't switch that often. Okay. How about like uh, accent, like an Australian accent, just like accents? Yeah. Can you do accents? Um, I, Australian is hard for me to keep, like keep. Keep up. Yeah. Uh, uh my my friend, have a catchphrase. my friend Justin, he could do, he could go until you point it out, and then it's like he loses it. I could do. <laughs> Like Russian or or mm. uh, or like a like a Slavic accent for a for a good while. I can see that. Um, I used to do a trans a transatlantic accent. I could do that for a while. When you do these accents, is there some that I'm pretty good at? But I have to say a certain few words that like get me into the zone. Oh, uh, that, you get you to calibrate. You, yeah. Do you have any like? Do you have calibration words for your different like accents or impressions? Okay. Probably that I'm not. I can't think of at the top of my head. Yeah. Probably. 
So you guys are just going to talk about the accents you can do, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. but not actually do them. So oh my gosh, you can do a Canadian cool. accent. That's so cool, James. That, wow, yeah, James. I'm yeah, he's, really been, good he's been doing it since he got here. Like, I've been trying to figure so it out. So solid yeah. this I mean, whole time. This is a good, what, 18 days of the Canadian accent, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. 19. 19 even. 19, 19 days, yeah. yeah. I'm really Fijian. Or are we on 20 yet? <laughs> <laughs> no, well, actually, in Hawaiian time, we're the 20th. Uh, Can you that is true. That is true. That's also true. Hmm. Who uh, else in the front row? We haven't gotten. I to guess everyone. magic. Magic would be my thing. I used to because I liked magic. I used to do that at like Christmas the, time for my family. The card game. Uh, I played the card game. Yes. Adam, there you go. Uh, I think it would just be Michael's talent show, probably. Michael's <laughs> talent. Show. Multiple. Yeah, we would just watch. Welcome Michael to Purple Michael's variety <laughs> show. <laughs> Michael's variety exactly. Show. <laughs> watch me play magic. <laughs> How about you, Lynette? Do you have any? talents you would like to display at our talent show? She's no. What? <laughs> no, no. You do. What about if you could just make one up? Like one that, that you've always wanted to have be your talent? No? I don't know. No, that's all right. No She's pressure. She's got a way with this USBL. Like <laughs> yeah. Whips it in shape. Hmm. I don't know. I'd have to think about Bull it. Bull fighting. Just that's kidding. Really that's not decision. cool. Uh, if we're going for real, if we're going for real talents, I can play the piano. Really? Really? I've been playing for like, well, since I was a kid, five wow. or six. That was an instrument I always yeah. wish I'd learned. Yeah, me too. Do you sing with your Canadian accent when you play the uh, piano? Uh, uh, no, I yodel. <laughs> yodel. <laughs> Mongolian throat sing. <laughs> Panos, do you have any talents for the talent show? Cooking, maybe. Oh. Cooking. Uh, oh. What? Cooking. Oh, cooking. Ooh. What kind of food do you like to cook? Good food. Mm. <laughs> Please um, say good. Really, very good at making baklava. Uh, baklava. Oh, that's my favorite dessert. Baklava. baklava is yeah. so good. I can cook a lot, like most of the Greek. Oh, yum. Yeah. Yeah. I love I Greek food. It's so good. Ooh, what's what that? that? What is that? Whoa. Wanna zoom in on that? Siphon of four. Cool. Down oh, it's light. a cool orangey siphonophore. Oh, yeah. And you can really see all the different um, members oh, of the moving. colony. He's moving. Hey, come back here. Oh, no. Oh. oh. Wow. It'll be okay. It'll be okay. Yeah, yeah fine, they can regenerate more of that. So, from the row of bell-shaped bits yeah, at the top, the nectophores that they do jet propulsion with. Um, here you go ahead, hi Steph. Uh, from, the, I guess there's the nectophore and then there's the lower part where they have all their other zoids. And it's from where those two join together that they generate all the stringy looking polypy zoids. And it's from the very top near the pneumatophore, that gas-filled circle that they generate all the bell bits, so they can generate more of both of those. All right, he's swimming away. We're, We're halfway the to the bottom. Tether. All right, nice. going. that was pretty cool. Yeah, it was cool to see an orange one. Don't usually see them like very colorful individuals. Does anybody in the um, comment box have any talents that they shared? Um, no, they were excited about the Mongolian throat singing. <laughs> <laughs> mm. I wonder uh, how many people went and Googled that. We Mongolian have a couple. Uh, someone lives in Hawaii has never heard of Hawaiian yodeling before, so. What? There, he's doing it. Is that that was the beginning singing? of it. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. That's the warm up tone. That, yeah, that's here. the he's calibrating. It actually that sounded like a like a didgeridoo or something. Like yeah, it yeah, does actually, sound yeah, that's, like they, that. That, that's, that's exactly what it sounds, what it sounds like. like. Didgeridoo. It's yeah, a lot of vibration. It's very cool, actually. It's not. It's, yeah. Like that. The next no. question that <laughs> okay. was suggested was, "What is your hometown known for?" 
I think, let me think, New York City, I don't know. <laughs> well, they started, the question started out, uh, what's your, what food is your hometown known for? But oh. I edited because it's too early to start oh, thinking hungry. about food, right? Well, although yeah. we did talk about candy. Yeah. That's our not a food. Our normal rule is 3.30, but we can we can open it up if we want to. No, 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 no. No, well, no, I think it's cool. What's your hometown known for? Yeah. Yeah, it yeah. doesn't have to and be if food. If you're from a big city, we get to tell you what you're known for. I would love that. Uh, so New York, I don't know. Oh. Good food. Pizza. Angry cabbies. <laughs> Angry cabbies. Friends. Friends. The show. Oh. I don't know what you're talking about. I've New York City. Never heard of this place. What comes to mind when you think of it? What? New York City. Oh, New York. Yeah. <laughs> turtles. Ninja turtles. The ninja, oh, ninja turtles. <laughs> 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 Excellent. Seinfeld, yeah. Seinfeld, yeah. Splinter in the, in the tunnel. So rats also, is that what you're saying? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Be mutant Rats turtle. and sewers. <laughs> what? And rats and the sewers. All sewer. of those things. I, it's because I saw, like, recently, I just saw, like, ninja, like, the original one, and I saw the new one that came out right before I left. The, the oh, mutant so like a live-action-y kind of one? Is it's like a uh, cartoon uh, one. It, Oh, yeah, the really? one that just came out, yeah. It's I think we should stick to the cartoon. It's cartoon. very animated. It's very good. It looks cute. Okay, other other towns. Um, I'm from Louisville, Kentucky, and we are famous for horses. Oh. And... Yeah, yeah isn't one of the big races then close to Louisville? Which? Yeah, the Kentucky Derby. The, oh, well, right. Yep. Yeah, you were telling <laughs> me about that. That would be the one. Yeah, that's the one. Never heard of it. So about the first Saturday of May every year, our city pretty much shuts down and everybody gets really excited or not, depending on how they feel about the Derby. And yeah. What about you, Haisa? What is Galway known for? <laughs> Galway Arts overall. We have a few festivals, but um, there is one Ah, Makinas, that's the Halloween, is just amazing. They have the parade and um, with different teams, usually it's really uh, folkloric and uh, it's just amazing. It's very full of fantasy and imagination and everybody loves it. And it's like the big opening f to the darkness, like that's Welcome the winter, you know. Oh, yeah. welcome the winter. That's cool. Yeah. What, where did you say you were from in Brazil again? This what is, area? she asked specifically for Goi. Yeah, oh, I should have said oh, your hometown. Yeah. I was talking about where you live from right Brazil, now. From Brazil, like I'm so many parts and <laughs> I travel so much. Um, I don't know where I was born. I don't know. <laughs> but uh, it's part of big... Um, region of Sao Paulo city that's 24 million mm -hmm. people. Wow, so huge. that's huge. Yeah. So I think is uh, probably is the diversity and, and lots of food, you know, more than there's so many, it's, it's so many things. Yeah. It would be similar in New York, probably. Yeah. Oh, oh. Ooh, another Hydra Medusa. Don't look at it. <laughs> it's gone. Ah, but the, the Ming festival that I love from Brazil definitely out, is in June. June it's down it's called Festa Junina. Mm. And there is so much food. Uh. Uh. And usually it's loads of things with corn and... Corn! <laughs> <laughs> it's got the juice! <laughs> <laughs> and uh, looks like tamales. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, but we call pamonha. And there is the sweets and and the sour and ah, it's so delicious. In, so much food, so I love. I miss so that much. That sounds amazing. Mm. And we dance, of course. Of course. Uh, yeah, it's really country, more countryside uh, type of uh, uh, festivity. Good food and dancing. It sounds perfect. Yes. Um. Jane, how about you? Bye-bye. Um, I grew up right outside of Boston, my actual hometown, Wakefield, Massachusetts has a lake that's about <laughs> but Bo I'll, I'll go with boston that's probably the the real thing um our accents yeah mm -hmm. matt damon <laughs> ben affleck st patrick's day <laughs> uh yep people shouting at each other oh drinking God. guinness 
Um, no, tons of stuff. History, of course. Revolutionary history, mostly. I love Boston. Tons of things. Red Sox. Also great food. Is, I yeah. think someone I is, love Boston. Uh, pardon. Someone is uh, saying hi to me in Portuguese in the chat. It oh. says, oh. so, is olá, it? se você estiver escutando, muito obrigada. Bom dia para você também. Did you say if you're listening, good morning? Yeah, is it? <laughs> <laughs> Yay. Yes. So I just say good morning in Portuguese. So what is that? Is that bom dia? Uh, bom dia. Bom dia. It would be similar in Spanish, but we have different accents, so... Bom dia. That's and probably fine. my accent is completely messed up yeah. <laughs> in Portuguese. No. Yeah. How do you say very good again? Is muito bene or how do you say good? Very good. Muito bom. Muito bom. Muito bom. And I miss you with saudades. Oh yes. <laughs> <laughs> and there is no translation. Right, you are lacking to me, kind of. Right. It's a mix of feelings, but uh, so you put lots of love. Yeah. Then you put loads of n a little bit of nostalgia. Then you put loads of good memories of with the person. Uh -huh. oh. Then you put like how much you miss the hugs. <laughs> then you stir up everything. Then saudade. <laughs> so sweet. Can you say it one more time? Saudade. Saudade. I like it. Oh. Tudo Olá. Bem? Uh, tudo bem. Uh, você pode se identificar? Quem que é? Yeah, tell us who you are. <laughs> yeah, who you are, where are you from? Oh, say Rossi. Ah, ok. Uh, you miss Brazil? You se você sente saudade do Brasil? Eu também. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> ah, thanks so much uh, for, you know, say hi in Portuguese. This means a lot for, to me. Thank you. Muito obrigada por falar um oi em português. Isso é, significa muito para mim. Panos, what is your hometown famous for? So, I uh, was born in Athens, Greece. We have in a little Athens. bit. Yes, we have a little bit of history. Just a little. <laughs> <laughs> Never heard of it. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't even care the Olympic Games. Um, good food. Athens. Good Isn't food. that in Queens? Queens. <laughs> 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 yeah. Wow. Yeah. When when did you um, leave Greece? Uh, 2015. I 2015? moved to Boston first. Wow. Yeah. Do you miss Greece? Oh yeah. I'm trying to. Uh, we went last summer. Uh huh. We'll go again next summer. Man, recent summer must just be so nice. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Sounds it's perfect. That's nice. nice. We'll see. A lot of good food. Mm -hmm. We dance a lot. <laughs> We're loud. Yeah. yeah. Which Opas, is ironic, just smashing an you. opa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That looks like a larvation. Oh, thank you so much. Someone gave me a heads up that the chat was still red, and I said it earlier, so I'm not sure what happened. But thank you for letting me know, and I fixed it. Thanks, Panos, too. Sure. Michael, hometown? Hometown, like uh, like where I was born and raised, or like where I'm living? That's up Whatever to you. Whatever you... Oh. Yeah. Uh, let's see, where I was born. I was born in... Uh, uh, bo I was raised in uh, Chino, California. Uh, I would say we're probably known for a couple things, maybe. I, I would assume. I don't. I have no idea. Um, I tend not to think about it. Uh, there's a prison, a state prison. It has, like brings a lot of the like. That's basically probably what I got settled. Dairy. Like we just have a lot of cows. Uh huh. Uh, and uh, there is a dam that's close by. That's in the valley, like part of the Chino Valley. 
uh, it's El Prado Lake, it's like mm -hmm. a shooting range or something like that. And I think it's getting more and more attention because that's where they're going to be holding uh, parts of the Olympics. Oh, really? Yeah. It was uh, also featured in the OC. Yes, I was just about to say that it was also featured in the OC. <laughs> even though, fun fact, like that's that's the prison that the main character comes from, right? Because he was in Chino. But fun fact, every, all the Chino scenes were done in Pomona. Uh -huh. So <laughs> at least it's in the same state. <laughs> yeah. So, um, but yeah, they're gonna be out there for the Olympics. Uh, some people are, are kind of mad because it says um, it's like hosting the Olympics, Los Angeles, blah blah, blah out in. Western Los Angeles, and then it's like, but it's like an hour and a half, two hours away. Oh wow! Really <laughs> from Los Angeles proper, uh, so I wouldn't. And it's completely, it's like two counties over. The oh. whole Olympic Games? Uh, not all of them, but portions of the games yeah. are going to be two counties over. So not That's even actually funny. in the city limits. Yeah. That's going to be so hard to get to. Oh yeah. People are going to. It's like would be worth the helicopter ride. Uh, right now, the city of Los Angeles is like, and uh, CTA are like pushing for like uh, public transit they're like yeah. putting in a new subway system that goes from like ucla uh, oh, back to union when station is, when is this that'd be awesome 2028 i think when Van when vancouver had the olympics um they had portions of it in whistler which is like about two hours away from the city yeah the winter olympics um hey so james yeah hi could you put your mic closer to i can't tell is it oh wait no just kidding uh, is that better? It's probably fine. But yeah. I don't feel like it was very far away. I, I do oh, like how right. Los Angeles, I don't know if Paris is doing it because they're doing it next. Um, they're not making a new stadium or anything. They're using the old. That's good. The old uh, Coliseum stuff that they've, uh, yeah, the Coliseum that they used for the, uh, awesome. back, back in whenever they did it last in Los Angeles. It's actually right there by the Science Center where, uh, the California Science Center. Oh, where he uh, works there. Yeah, or uh, where she works. Science communication fellow. Really? Yeah. James, what about where you're from? From Vancouver, Canada. Known hey. for? Scott Known Pilgrim. For, I don't know, Scott Pilgrim. Is that what you <laughs> said? Yeah. Uh, that's Toronto. That hurts my feelings. <laughs> uh, is it? I thought it was Vancouver. I don't know. I haven't seen that movie in a very long time. Um. What is Vancouver known for? Um, I don't know. Mountains. So you can surf and ski and golf in the same day. Is that where all the orcas go through? Yeah, we have lots of uh, lots of orcas in the Salish Sea, which is between Vancouver and Vancouver Island. There's like a resident orca pod. Cool. Uh, yeah, really I've good sushi. Seen some really beautiful pictures of that area. It's really it is quite picturesque. It is a very expensive, but that's that's okay. Worth it. it so, oh, do you ski in the winter? Um, I'd like to say yes, but it's been a very long time since I was since I went snowboarding. If we do go, we usually make the track up to Whistler. It's just so much better. How far is that from you? Uh, about two hours. That's not bad at all. It's not so bad. It's not so bad. I think that was the last of my my topics. Of that was it. Just the one there. question. No, that was three questions. <laughs> what? Yeah, we just made Wait, it through three questions. Was, I asked Lynette, you. What, what was your answer? Oh, sorry, Lynette. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, she's hoping that we skipped. <laughs> <laughs> Lynette puts on her hood and is like, "Don't look at me." Put on my hood. Try to hide in the dark corner. <laughs> um, I am from a teeny tiny town in northern Wisconsin. Is that uh, what it's called? <laughs> I was going to say Teeny Tiny. That's the name of it. <laughs> it's called Shatek, Wisconsin. Shatek, Wisconsin. Um, what are we famous? I mean, we're, I don't know that we're really famous for much of anything. Um, we do have a chain of six lakes. Um, so people come there a lot for fishing, 
boating, that kind of thing. There's a lot of summer recreation there, a lot of tourists, a lot of resorts, things cool. like that. Um, but I uh, live in Madison now in the southern part of the state. Um, and I've lived there for probably 14 years, so a good chunk of time. Uh, Madison is the capital, so we have a pretty beautiful capital building. The University of Wisconsin is there. Go Badgers. Mm -hmm. um, we have an amazing farmer's market on the capital square in the summertime. Love a good farmer's market. Yeah, I think... Um, outdoor things in the summer in Madison. That's where it's at. I love Madison. It's one of my favorite cities. Yeah, I love it a lot. That's why I've been there so long. Yeah. Cool. And you said that was, that was the last of your questions? So now it's your turn to... Yeah, you have to come yeah, up with Now it's topic. your turn to throw it, saying, here we can go. Can we have <laughs> a philosophical say, conversation about what candy is? What, uh, okay. what All falls right. into good. the category candy? What I don't know why I feel like ice cream is not candy. Because, you know, I don't... Because it's not in the candy aisle. Right. right. Maybe it has to do with the aisle that we call candy. When I think of candy, I think of something that could go in your... Mouth. Halloween bag when you yeah go right it's something about the consistency of ice cream and the um uh, the the impermanence of it you yeah. know it, it could just melt <laughs> away yeah then again <laughs> chocolate could longer. also just melt True. away sorry I'm giggling over here I'm just picturing you handing scoops ice cream <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> like, here, it's all, all over bag, everything kids. <laughs> scoop speaking of which it's Sunday so we're gonna Ooh, get some ice cream. Cream. oh my gosh <laughs> I wonder what flavors are in. there vanilla what did we have last Sunday it was that green one it was a uh, honeydew uh, mochi yeah oh that was so good. I almost missed it. I almost slept that through it. That one's pretty good. We had a coffee one last time that was very good. Uh, trying to think what flavors we haven't had in the rotation yet. We haven't had a chocolate. I would right? love some chocolate ice cream. That sounds great. It's funny because I don't even really eat ice cream at home. No, I'm like Lies. waiting for a whole week. <laughs> yeah. The only kind of I don't normally eat ice cream either. The only ice cream I have is a. Uh, Pistachio. Mm. Ooh, excuse me. And then uh, it is the fanciest nut. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I forgot. There was one one question I asked earlier, which was, "What's your walkout song?" We never. Oh yeah, the walkout song. Yeah, yeah. And I still haven't. Come what do you mean by walkout? Like just like. Like um, let's say you know you're in the WWE and you're coming out on stage. Oh, What's your walkout song? Your, your walkout song. Oh, I thought song? you meant like walkout, like, like you're quitting your job and. Oh, <laughs> or that, just like what. You know, it, 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 some scene in your life movie. You're walking out on stage or walking out into an arena. I, like on a maybe you're a pro sports player and they let you choose. Gotcha, song. gotcha, gotcha. I would choose one of two. Okay. Or like maybe the. Uh, oh man, I just forgot their name. <laughs> uh, oh my god, what is their name? Walkout song. The, no, the band. The, I, I'm trying to remember the name of the song, not the band. Okay. Anyway, the one of the one of the songs is um, the Imperial March, of course. Uh -huh. Like <laughs> ba, 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 ba. that one. Darth Vader's music. Oh, they go out in the Imperial March, oh, no. uh, or um, the Cantina music. Or 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 it's by the it's the it's by the Who. Um, it's on NCIS all the time, like mm -hmm. the intro. Oh. The yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. I do know what you're talking about. Yeah, that that song. That would be my walkout song after I say something, and then I'd be I like, yeah, called, we won't get fooled again. That one. It's a good one. That, oh, it's who are you? It's song. who are you? No. Right? Who are you? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. You. That's what scene in your life is that one coming on to? Anytime I have to, like, I give an awesome retort. Like, and then I walk out, and I walk away. So something that just leaves them speechless. That's awesome. <laughs> that "Who Are You" song, please. Yeah. <laughs> Specifically, w that that yell and in intro, like yeah. It's like the it's like opening for NCIS all the time. Yeah, it's very hype. I get it. Yeah. 
Or I want to be the very best at Pokemon theme song. From Pokemon? Yeah. Yeah. That's a good one. That's a good one. James, earlier they said the Vancouver Aquarium is cool. Vancouver Aquarium is very cool, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's pretty high up north. So is the Boston Aquarium. I guess that's true. But it's not a competition. I've never visited the Vancouver Feels Aquarium. like one. I feel like... I feel like a Queen song is speaking to me. Mm. Something like, I don't know, some dramatic scene with I want to break free. Mm. You know? Something like that. Whoa, what's this? Me getting off this ship at the end. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, it's Let me zoom in. Let me zoom in Again? Hold on a second. That's Maybe with really they long tentacles, it. but yeah, it's a Tina 4 with really long tentacles. So they have the two really long tentacles or two tentacles, not always this long, of course, covered in those cola blasts, those sticky cells. And there you can see again the, that like shimmering rainbow is it moving by fluttering its uh, teens, its combs. So Tina 4 is actually spelled t 10? Yeah, like C-T-E-N. Oh, okay. E, yeah, Tina 4. We're not going to be able to stay here. Speaking much of Queen there. songs, maybe Don't Stop Me Now. That's Don't Stop Me one. Now, it's a good one. That's I'm a great gonna, one. I'm not going to steal go, Queen, but that that's like. a really good one. Oh, he's retracting. Uh. Bicycle. Bye. Uh -huh. ah, we're so getting cool. Wow. Ooh. Oh, that's a good <gasps> close-up. Ah, sorry. Too that's far right. from Atlanta. Getting pulled away. That's all right. Got to catch up now. We've been seeing lots of orangey plankton today. Yeah. Gelatinous so plankton. Maybe orange is the color of, of the of evening. Of the day, of yeah. the evening. Let's see. We're going to see... Orange color morphs of staropathies again. Mm -hmm. There aren't a lot of orange things. I mean, orangey. Besides black corals, I'm trying to think. There's like sea cucumbers are not usually orangey. Uh, not can't think of or orangey corals or sponges or tunicates. Speaking of lost dive, I had we got a, a question about 34 minutes ago. I, I was uh -huh. waiting to come back to it. What was the deal with the mystery blob that we got? Oh, on the last we dive? don't know yet. And Ooh. we looked at it up close in the lab and put on all our science thinking hats and <laughs> thought about all the like, OK, these major groups, what are the things that define the groups and what what body structures they have that we can look for? But it's really, really unclear. We have a mollusk group, people thinking it's a mollusk. Um, it has, um, yeah, I don't know, some, some features that make us think mollusk. And then uh, a, a tuna kit group. Some it's folks, divided the ship, frankly. Uh, yeah, some, <laughs> some folks think tuna kit off the ship, too. I mean, the curator at the MCZ, <coughs> where we send our samples to, he's only seen pictures of it, but he, he thinks tuna kit. Whereas I think Steve is is more mollusk party, and I don't know. I th I've thought both of those things, and when I look at different parts of it, I uh, oscillate. So this is the thing that we slurped off the rock. Oh that no, not that. Too. That's not um that. that is that was a shell. What we slurped just came up as broken fragments of a shell, but it wasn't the whole organism. But we, then they got another one later. You yeah. yeah, and it was both both shells. And it, it was a, actually a bivalve. It had, yeah, oh, two nice. sides. And it was really pretty iridescent, really delicate shell. Very pretty. And I think that it's only, it's very rarely been collected. And it's in the guide as a, like, question mark. Don't even really know what it is, so. <sighs> good collections all around. Not a lot of bio, but very good bio. All right, and we have um, two different questions, but kind of the same topic. So thinking about school, one question is, hey team, um, finally got to see one of these lives. Are you guys, as you guys are descending and looking for conversation topics, I'm currently on my final year of ocean exploration and surveying Ooh. at Plymouth University in the UK. And my question for you all is, how did you get here? Any tips for students? The second question on the next one is, what was your least favorite course? So do you have any two tips for students um, for ocean exploration? And then we can come back and talk about what least was, favorite courses. What, oh, least favorite? Yeah. Yeah, but first tips hmm. for how, how we got where we are and tips for that. 
Hi, you said do you have any tips for students that are interested in ocean exploration? Uh, there is um, several, I think, uh, depend on your will of challenging and your passion, curiosity, you know. I think the first thing, you need to follow what you love. Like yeah. There's no other way. It looks like very cliche, but it, this is what works for me. Because then, uh, when you're tired or if you're not sleeping, <laughs> or you still love and you still have energy to discover, you know. So I think uh, there are a few things, but first, see, Everybody come from a place of has privilege and disadvantage. Trying to see, okay, what you have as a privilege, what you have as a disadvantage, and use that to focus what you need, you know, to reach where you want to go. And uh, be open and to, I think the primordial thing to work in the exploration is to be a good team, yeah. team player. Um, you know, you manage. To, you need to be flexible to give, um, get out of your 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 comfort zone. For me, this expedition was the first one I had to do so much outreach and put uh -huh. my face there, <laughs> and has been really challenged. But because of the love and the curiosity, you know, you you have energy to do. So yeah. I don't know if it was very yeah. clear. <laughs> yeah, no, that's a great yeah. answer. So follow your passion and be a good team player. Yeah. And yeah, that about shape, like acknowledging what your advantages and disadvantages are and, and yeah. using using those uh, to help guide you and to, to inspire you to fill in gaps where, where you see them or use the strengths that you do have. Um, I like that one about being a good team player because this is a job where you often are in the field and you live with the people that you're around for an extended period of time, 24 seven. And yeah. the people who I find seem to keep coming back are the ones who people want to be around for <laughs> the time that we're out here. So it's definitely good to always be uh, aware of, um, yeah, how you treat the, the people around you. Uh, and I don't know, a tip. Yeah, thinking about what aspect of exploration you're most excited about. And there are lots of meandering ways to each of those jobs. Um, but maybe keeping in mind what your niche interest is and then just finding opportunities wherever you can uh, to expand into different corners of that niche you know, reaching out to folks and trying to get aboard cruises where there are extra birds to participate in that or shadow that, or looking for the opportunities that that different organizations provide to train new folks. That's cool. Oh, oh, Is that oh, a oh, shrine? Oh, oh. Yeah. Yep. Oh. So I feel like you guys are both kind of uh, saying similar to what I want to say, which is, yes, follow your passion and keep in mind what you're really interested in, but also keep an open mind about yeah. things that you might not necessarily know that you like. Like, for instance, I avoided physics for a very long time in my wow. academic career. And then, sorry, <laughs> <laughs> sorry. But hey, it has a happy ending. I have ended up kind of learning a lot more about it in uh, in the context that is interesting to me, which is oceanog you know, oceanography and fluid dynamics and, and that sort of thing. So keep an open mind not to limit yourself just to the niche that you yeah. think that you want to stay in when you set out. Um, I actually had a second one too, which is totally unrelated, but more related to relationships like you were talking about, which is if you're going to go to grad school, make mm. sure that the potential advisor that you seek out is somebody who is going to support you um, and you know make sure that you really I, I really do think that the advisor relationship can make or break your absolutely your um, your experience and your passion like you c it can totally build you up or tear you down unfortunately so um, yeah definitely just be careful about who you um, 
seek out. And I know I've been very, very lucky, so I'll just put that out there. Yeah. But um, there yeah. are lots of different mentorship styles, and right, so it's exactly. good to know what kind of a a student you are, what what kind of a what you seek in a mentor, and and have frank conversations with potential um, advisors that you're thinking about uh, about how they mentor and what they they seek in a student and what you seek in a mentor and and also talking to other grad students in their labs is great to get you know their uh, their opinions on um, each of those things that that you think you might seek or might do badly with yeah I have clear uh, clearly defined expectations for yeah. both parties yeah hmm. All right. Um, you all did an excellent job answering that question. Yeah. The other one is your least favorite course in school. Not necessarily meaning that you didn't, you don't like that subject area, but maybe it was one that you did not enjoy as much. Does we'll let the front row take that. Wait, what? Front row, take that. I feel we're like taking that. Oh, we're switching questions. Or, yeah. or, or would, or answered the first. You one You can too. answer the first one if you want, or you can talk about your least favorite course that you took in school. Oh, okay. Well, I guess I can tie them together. I am a story weaver. <laughs> <laughs> underwater story Beautiful. weaving. Uh, underwater story weaving. Yeah. So our advice is there's basket. multiple paths. You could be an underwater story weaver. Yeah. Um, let's story see. Weaver. Advice and stuff like. That. Um, I would say. Uh, honesty with yourself is very key, and um, I'm and by acknowledging that you are different from other people, it's not necessarily a bad way because there's different types of people for different types of things. Uh, and I will pl and I will talk to the. Uh, hey pilots. Yes. We might lose USBL for a little bit. Copy. But only for like a couple seconds, hopefully. Copy. Just so you know. So I don't know if you need a power cycle or anything. We can pause on the question too if we need to. No, I think it's okay. We're not losing any functionality. No, we just we don't need to know where we are. It's fine. No, I can see you. We're you can see me. We're in the ocean. I can see you. You can see me. I don't know where you are. You know where I'm at. <laughs> I don't know where you are. I know where you're at. That's creepy. <laughs> That's a relatively new question to ask somebody. <laughs> oh. Um, so what was I saying? Um. Your oh, right, right, right. So, so like, uh, I'll take me, for example. I know that I'm not like most people. I don't necessarily, if I, I, I don't, I'm not following my passion. I don't necessarily know what that means. I don't understand it when people say, talk about it. Mm. Um, so, you know, it take, took, took, takes me a while to realize, well, maybe that's just not the case. I haven't even found it yet, or maybe I just don't experience it. That's okay. Um, so do what you like to do and know what you want because, like, that's what matters. Um, and, yeah, your reasons for doing things that matter to you and to you alone. Uh, you know, because you're, you're, as long as you know that you want to do this thing. Um, and then it, because every challenge that goes away is balancing your desire to do the thing. Mm. And uh, if you don't have a reason... Um, you don't always need a reason, but reasons help fuel that want, I guess. Um, but yeah, and then just be open to opportunities. Uh, you don't want, like, if you, the moment you start thinking, oh man, maybe I should do this, just do it. Just figure out a way to do it, make it happen. And then, uh, and then you'll find out whether it was a good idea or a bad idea. Okay. <laughs> oh, <Jesus> okay. <laughs> Oh, right. We needed warning. I just about crashed the robot. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, going into my least favorite course um, uh, was uh, chemistry. I didn't like chemistry. Boo. Really? Hey, yeah. I love nice. chemistry. I didn't like physics. I don't. It's uh, the reason why I don't like chemistry is because it's very. Hot. There, there, there's no process. What are you talking about? I there is no process. Do you think that's that it is a lot of memorization? That's not true at all. I don't think so. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Maybe, it's just maybe no, it was maybe it was the teacher true. that I you had. Yeah, I, I, I was, was going to say I think teachers make a really big. Impact. I had four yeah. different yes. teachers. Hmm. There, there's no like consistent 
process. Sure there it's is. different. No, it changes. And you didn't understand the process. No, 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 no. Just you go. You don't understand. I feel like no, no. It doesn't mean it's if you go it's like, oh man, let's go over here and do this, and then, oh, except for like these eight elements, and then the next set of elements, you're going to do something a little bit different. <laughs> and then once you get why up to you five shells, the periodic why did you go through thing? five shells? You can't use this process anymore. You got to use a different process to analyze. Like, there's no consistent process. Uh, it's not wrong. I'm not saying it's not enjoyable. I'm just saying I don't like, I don't like having to learn like that. I you are I saying like it's you not enjoyable. You're, you're saying I do not I don't, enjoy. I do not enjoy that. I, I do no not process. enjoy it like that. You it's, know, it's, it's a personal preference. It is it's true. We can attend. Chemists, you are chemists just figured yeah. out what electrons do to things, uh, in, in physics class, in a physics class, and then ran with it. So and I'm okay. That's okay. Michael, I have to point out that you um, first said not you don't know what following your passion means, and then recommended that know what you want and do that. <laughs> and then. But I do, and, and you, but you, there, your reasons were your yeah, own, you, and it's not just a well, no, 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 like, to your opinion, however wrong Whoa, 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 like, well, that doesn't mean, like, <laughs> knowing what you want is, like, I want to be a rock star, but is that a want, or is that a uh, would like? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> no, I know what you're saying. Yeah. I, and, like, it, but passion, I feel, is, like, this, it, 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 It's not, like, an I, innate okay, draw to a thing. It is a, it is, for me... How, when I hear passion, I can't tell if it's something that's manufactured yeah. from something within, or that's something that uh, uh, that is with. innately yeah. uh, fueling. Oh, man. But you're I saying like doing what you want is a, is a choice. This guy walk the plane. That's what I'm saying. I just, I, it's a, it's, up, if, it's a, if it's a, if it's a, a feeling or emotion, I don't get it, and did I don't you, understand it. Did I don't. You have breakfast today. And, and I, one of the reasons <laughs> also. Uh, is you know like how when you feel people about say not it. liking chemistry? When people <laughs> say passion. When see, people see, say this is a physics. <laughs> this is a, this is a physics. When, thing. when people say passion, like the context is always different, and I don't like that. See, higher level physics is all <laughs> philosophical. And, uh, There's absolutely no process. No process. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's no process. We just got like really it's a, it's philosophical It's the same thing with engineering here. class. It's like <laughs> yeah, yes, yeah, engineering. There's no process either. It's a bunch of who. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's like here's a, yeah, like, here's a formula. There. Here's a formula, and there you go. Resistors and ohms. Yeah. It's it's just a, what's that candy you made up? It's a whole bunch of <laughs> Alex, <laughs> Alex, <laughs> Alex, <laughs> Alex the Woobie or whatever. Yeah. It's just a bunch of Abba's Abba's. Abba's Abba's. Abba's Abba's, 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 this is cool. <laughs> I felt like like my, I spent like I feel like my uh, spring flowers taxonomy class had more structure than my chemistry classes. <laughs> oh my God. What did you say? Your oh I took a spring a spring flowers course. It was like one of the other sciences I had to do. Spring <laughs> flowers class is is that what you said you took? Yes, I took a spring flower spring flowers class. It was one of the other natural sciences I had to do <laughs> for my major. Well, you've got the back row just cracking up back here. <laughs> I think there might be tears. They're crying. What's going on? People they're laughing crying, at me? They're laughing cool. so That's hard. Fine. That's fine. They can laugh at me. Not I'll, at you, with I'll, you. I'll laugh at them. I'm not laughing. <laughs> okay. Did you realize how silly their process was? <laughs> It's so full of it's, it. It's utter chaos. <laughs> yeah, all right. Okay. Can't spend like five minutes to derive if, like uh, how electrons transition. So, yeah. So how come they can take two reactants and predict what the outcome's going to be if there's no process? Would, if there's no predictable process, wouldn't you have to do the reaction in order to find out what it is, because it's completely random, and then you can say, "Oh, this is what happens." Oh well, yeah, that's and now like, we have to memorize it. Th that sounds okay, like okay. No, 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 time out, time out, time out. No? I think you're conflating chemistry with the process of science. Like, even though chemistry, uh, don't worry about it. We'll talk about this later. <laughs> no, you're gonna walk the plank later. There will be no later. <laughs> anyway, you hurt. You hurt me as a. Uh, as, as a, a fake chemist. As a, I didn't say you were fake. I, I, I just didn't like it. I just didn't like chemistry. I didn't say I didn't like chemists. I, I got over <laughs> physics once I learned, once I learned uh, the first laws of motion. <laughs> Ouch. Oh, once something happens, something else oh, happens? Oh, I'm shooting a ball out of a cannon. Where is it going to land? Yeah. After that, that's, no, that's basically it. Yeah. I'm not kidding. That's, that's ex you, you do the same problem. Up and through grad school. <laughs> Just apply wind. <laughs> nope, 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 nope. A little bit of wind resistance That is here. the only difference. Wind Friction. resistance there. That is the only difference. Bounce. 
a bounce or two. I will say, friction is weird. <laughs> friction is weird. <laughs> no, but I really appreciate what you said, like that. Don't tell them for that. For each one. <laughs> <laughs> Don't encourage that. <laughs> Don't encourage it. No, but like, you know, to accept, like, we, we're different. And sometimes if you, you feel different of things. And when we see someone now, I, I, I understand because I have some friends that they were in undergrad with me. And we, few of us were like this passion and like, wow, this is so cool. Everything's cool. And this person was trying to figure out what to do, what they like or not, or in the way this person view of life was completely different. So I think sometimes with these things of passion, I understand what you said, can be hard for who feels things different, not so intense, or it's not so clear what they want. So I, I appreciate you, you mentioned that. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> hmm. It's like a nice recap lesson at the end. Yeah. yeah. You're kind of holding that last <laughs> Yeah, right. Moral, so the, the purpose of that go half hour mute, was. Mute yourselves and laugh for another five, ten minutes. <laughs> Get it out of your system. You know, just do it. What are some other least favorite classes? Physics. <laughs> I mean, I, I was going to say, I, oh, physics, physics one I I was one of my actually. least favorite I get classes. It. I enjoyed physics. I'm not going to lie. I just, like, once I left my physics courses and I had to go do this, I'm like, when I didn't want to do physics. And I went back to my other courses, like, oh, yeah, nah. Physics is better. It's just like. It's it the is. best of the worst, actually. It is. I, well, I picked physics because I, I was coming out of the Navy and I just wanted to go through school. And I was like, oh. Well, let's uh, just pick know. an easy subject. That's yeah. what I thought. I was like, oh, I'll go with physics because everything's kind of based off of physics. Therefore, it's an umbrella an umbrella um, subject, you know? So uh -huh. it's going to be a little bit of everything. Chemistry and biology and all this other stuff is really, really yes. hard. So I'm like, okay, well. And then I found out that it's not an umbrella. It's the spear tip. Of science, and then, uh, and it was by the time I figured that out, it was it was way too late. <laughs> <laughs> you were already in. I, I was in. I was in. I gotta say, history was always my the bane of my existence. Yeah. That's a lot of memorization, but it's a very yeah. valuable course. Well, and I actually had really excellent history yeah. teachers, which sh goes to show how much I actually really disliked history. <laughs> yeah. If I disliked it what, with good teachers, then what did you so. dislike about it? Uh, I found it not interesting. Really? Yeah. They just haven't found oh. the right well, story to tell. Well, the thing is, because I think my particular school district decided to teach the American Revolution about six times. Oh, see, that's a shame. Yeah. Was it because you were in Boston? Or well, I went to Boston a different area. So, you know, I got through middle school. We'd had, like, at least one unit on the revolution. Then I went to a private school for one year, and they taught the revolution in that mm. year. And then I went back to public school. Yeah. And then they taught the revolution. She's got it a bunch of times. Yeah, and I didn't learn about anything except for American history either. I would have liked to learn more about world oh, history yeah, or because what, uh, current so events. I never learned anything what about see, World that's War really, II. That's really interesting because in Canada, I only had... Um, and maybe it was like because few, I was in Boston. A like maybe one year that I can remember of history really? based just on Canadian oh, history. Oh, just on Canada. Yeah. And then it was it was all world history. Yeah, um, it's very interesting because I, I think like history doesn't like. I think it is probably one of the least favorite, maybe on the on, like Boring subject list. Me, like, uh, and I I would reckon to guess I would surmise or perhaps opine. <laughs> that uh, it's probably because like it's because all history is is just like a st like the story that leads to now, but it's all about perspective. So it's probably about a story that isn't necessarily important to the student. Yeah. In some fashion, because like I'm sure all of you would love some like oceanography history course and mm. uh, something like that, you know, uh, rather than just some rando. History American. is really cool with context. Yeah, that's I what find I was going to say. If you're missing I, context, it's Yeah, fine. like if you're in a place and you're learning about the history of that place or or if you, yeah, like you said, have a subject you care a lot about and you want to understand what led to to the current, current condition, yeah. then it can be really, really fascinating. Yeah. But if you're just being, you know, shoved a bunch of facts, and then expected yeah. to regurgitate them and the dates and the names and it can it can be really dry but yeah world history was one of my favorite classes yeah. and and i have there's this uh youtube video that's it shows you i really like trying to imagine what was happening at the same time in different parts of the world and there was this youtube video that shows um like the different empires in different colors throughout you know all of i guess uh known written history 
and um, it was crazy to look at that and be like, whoa, all these different things. You can go down real rabbit holes with history if you're interested. Yeah, yeah. and I, I totally accept that. I, I just think that they made us walk the Freedom Trail way too many times yeah. on field yeah. trips yeah. in Boston. It was like, I there's only so many times I can totally. hear about yeah. Paul Revere. It sounds like it might have just been like relational to where you were living too. Yeah, like it, it was just yeah. an easy yeah. thing to. I, I think history needs engagement. Yeah. And like, um, it need uh, yeah, it can't just be a facts thing because it's like the, facts. It's that context part, right? Yeah, exactly. What you just said, all that. I'm just reinforcing it. You know. Yeah, and like, I would have liked to learn more like recent history too. I think I graduated high school not knowing hardly anything about like the World Wars or anything since 1900 on from a history class anyway. I had learned yeah. it from other sources, but movies. See, I feel similar to yeah. you because that we learned about World War Two like so many years really? in a row. I had really? to read so many World War Two novels. I think we had like one unit on it, if that. Yeah. So we have some excellent um, comments in the chat. It says, top of the morning to y'all. So fun to sit and sip coffee and tune in to the best of our experiences. Coffee. Y'all offer. for Thank sipping your coffee with yeah. us. Hope Thank we can you. find some cool stuff for you to see. I'm Cheers. Sure. Some lasers. And then I, I like this one too. Y'all have fantastic laughs. It made my morning oh. awesome questions and convos this morning from Richmond, Virginia. So thank you. We love thank those positive you. comments. Feel You're free welcome. to send conversation topics too. Yeah. You're welcome. Apparently, I brought. If all you those want laughs. more banter. <laughs> Apparently, they were laughing at me. So. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. Yes. For, for enjoying not at. It. At you, not with you. I have yet to laugh. <laughs> oh yeah, you haven't incident. laughed a single since time. Since the incident <laughs> five years ago. Oh uh, yeah, since the incident, a thousand meters up. So or another question it was. is, oh, are we going today. back to the area that we left off yesterday and have we moved uh, to another area of that seam belt? Yeah, uh, we I, are picking, picking up up. back up where, like Michael said, that's what we're doing. A little uphill up there. But we're going to be near waypoint five out of nine waypoints that we had mm -hmm. outlined and we had started at one and Mart made our way to five. So we're kind of like picking up halfway-ish through the track that we had been hoping to get through yesterday. And we'll be, the whole dive, including blue water, will be either 12 or 16 hours TBD. 16. That'd if it's great. 16, you get more blue water with us. Yes, more blue water. <laughs> we get to do this ever again. Oh, yeah. Oh, awesome. yeah. <laughs> Abba, Dabba. Abba, Zabba. Abba, Zabba. Oh. Look it up. I'm not lying. I know. I saw it. I did look it up. And I have seen those before in, like, candy stores, but... Yeah. Speaking so. of ABBA, that might actually be my walkout song. Oh, what Abba. song? Maybe uh, Dancing Queen. Uh, I don't know. I knew know. you were going to say <laughs> that. That's the, that's <laughs> the only that's one, the one, one that comes of, to mind. Yeah. There's Super Trooper. Or, oh. I was going to earlier say More Than a Feeling by Boston, but I don't know. It's not really, like, because of the lyrics or anything. I just like this song a lot. That's okay. It's a great song. You're walking out to, oops, I did it again. <laughs> yeah, that's I was either going to go classic rock or like uh, really poppy with it, like <laughs> Last Friday Night by Katy Perry or something. It's hmm. Friday, Friday, Friday. No. Oh, no, but that, that Friday. Uh, Rebecca Black <laughs> is in that music Friday. video. Though. It's called Friday. She is. Um, yeah. Yeah. Hey, I just thought of, it just, just reminded me, uh, you were saying something. Going, this is from yesterday when we talked about like useless superpowers. Yep. The power to montage. Yeah, that's a, yeah. That no, 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 no. That's the power to go into musicals to make and montages stuff like that. or like, to yeah, be no, like yeah. montaging. I want to be able to go. Oh man, I gotta get ready for this fight, and I'm gonna go into a rocky montage uh, for five Even minutes, and I'm ready to montage. go. <laughs> montage. Yeah. I would like the power to montage. I think I'd like the power to do a pull up. <laughs> <laughs> we can work on that. Yeah, we can. Yep. Yeah. Actually, that was power I want to. during one of the cruises. <laughs> Last year, the, our goal was it was like, okay, do one pull-up. Oh, really? Yeah, it was by the end of the cruise, do one pull-up. And now I can do many pull-ups, but that cruise, I couldn't do wow. it. So I couldn't do any before that. I was actually going to ask somebody. There's these little things hanging in the gym. They look like maybe rock climbing. Oh, yeah, the Metolius rock. Uh, Is that for, rocking. like, like trying to That's increase grip so strength? Yeah, so there's, like, a, if you just hold on to the top, it's like a jug. And then there's a four-finger, a three-finger, and a two-finger hold. And you can just hang on them, or you can do like bent arm hangs or pull ups. Um, but yeah, for training, grip strength forearms. Nice. Uh, 
We have a question about the mystery squish. You need to slow down. You need to stop. Yes, mystery stop. squish. Yep, still mystery still squish. Still mystery squish. Still don't know what it is. It went white. We have we have sent the photos around <laughs> to the scientists. <laughs> it, be, it was like doesn't know what and, to do. Uh, we're still unsure. I don't know why it keeps like question slipping. Question mark. Into the future. I wish I had seen it on the seafloor because they were they, they were saying that it looked like it was actively feeding on sediment, moving around. But when if you haven't seen it, I don't know. I I have such a I, I've seen pictures of it on the seafloor, but I have such a hard time picturing that. Yeah, I saw the stills too. I, I, it didn't really make any sense to me either. What was happening there? Yeah, and it does. It did have like a sediment filled. Did you see that? Some kind, I didn't see that in the but pictures. But it wasn't it wasn't like a long gut like you would expect to see in like, like a, a sea, sea cucumber, for example. Yeah. yeah. Um Yeah, it was so mysterious that it would be consuming sediment for, for the types of animals that I'd think it, yeah, it might be. If you want to tunicate you'd be future feeder. Yeah. Right. That's yeah. with the pharynx. Mm. But there I don't know, who knows? There's weird exceptions to everything. So <laughs> if there's anything that deep sea teaches us, it's what you learned about that thing is not always true. Approximately 100 meters to bottom. Yeah, so tunicates typically have uh, pharynx, which you know, we also, they're invertebrates that are sort of closely related, some of the most closely related to humans. Um, we have a pharynx. They have a pharynx. It it has uh, holes, holes slits in it, and the slits have cilia around them. Um, and they beat those cilia, those little whips, uh, to bring water through their body. And they are filtering then um, that water. And some of them have mucus nets that they have over that pharynx. So as water gets filtered through the little slits in their pharynx, uh, it gets trapped in the mucus, and then they consume the mucus with all whatever it trapped in it. Um, so yeah, that's a kind of interesting thing to imagine to be feeding on on sediment. What did the mystery squishy look like when you brought it to the surface, and did it look different than the pictures that you saw? Yeah, it did look a little. It did look a little different. I mean, it's definitely the same animal, but it it uh had there were some tentacles that were visible in the in situ pictures that had sort of um fallen off in collection or or in response to warming in the slurp jars as the vehicle ascended um but it was cool to see that it had you know and who knows back front i don't know but on one end of the body there was this sack that almost looked like a um, you know, a, a plastic bag, if you will, but it had a hole in one side of the sack. Um, so that was an interesting thing that looks, that part does look kind of like some of the tun predatory tunicates that we see on the seafloor, um, except that this thing was not attached to a rock or anything like the predatory tunicates that we're used to seeing. And the little tentacly bits seemed more reminiscent of a mollusk though but um yeah m the other features of a mollusk were not obvious and then that sack becomes a very confusing thing and even though like look the way i was saying looks like almost a transparent transparent yeah anemone laid down but then wouldn't have out the sacks and the organ, but like the top, you know, when we see the the body of the anemone, if you think lay, laying laying down, down, but like transparent, so right, we, we I, yeah, but it's not it's not, not I don't think nidarian, yeah, no, yeah, it's not. I don't think because there is no there. You see that looks like there is uh, or like um, organized, yeah, organs like tissues inside yeah. it. Nigerians wouldn't have that, you know. It didn't have obvious, like, you know, in a, a nudibranch type, mol you know, when you think about it, that a nudibranch or a mollusk, you think about the tentacles. It didn't have, like, two obvious tentacles in the front. 
And the only organs we saw inside were the just a small round gut of some kind filled with sediment. And then maybe nephridia, some kind of a like filtration, um, waste excretion organ, a small orange. And I mean, that was kind of it. Nothing else was extremely obvious. C4. Oh. Wow. Hey, we're there. Where was our oxygen minimum on this one? This one was around 650 meters, similar to yesterday. Really deep. Yeah. And it was not very minimum. It was 36 micromoles oh per wow. liter. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Oh, you're behind me. That's Deeper, fine. higher. Sir, you're behind me. I just turned around. You just stay there. Yeah. Yeah, let's keep Come on, all stop. Let's keep that delta at 20 ish while I pass underneath you. Last thing on the mysterious organism um, whether we are able to figure out somehow on this expedition or not what it is based off of the morphology. We did preserve it in every way that we could. So it most of the body is preserved in formalin, which is good for preserving the morphology. But for genetic purposes, we also kept a piece of it uh, in RNA later, and uh, and some in ethanol as well too. And the RNA later bit is frozen, and so when uh, it gets to the MCZ, they're going to run some mitochondrial genetics on it to see if we can figure out what it is. What is that? What is that? I'll zoom in, fellas. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, Hydro jelly. Let me know when you're ready, and I'll move the craft. Uh, yeah, go for it. For a uh, zoom out. Yeah, I guess you are. Um, you're gonna hover. Calibration. Yeah, it's really steep here, so let's just uh, copy. Turn the down lights on. I can do that. Craft power coming on. Ooh. Oh, oh. So fast. Okay. Oh, it's under the arm. Can you hit the crap of the valve, please? Ready, valve is on. All right, coming all in. Go ahead. Bye bye, Jelly. Bye. <laughs> I speak for the jellies. It's my <laughs> jelly accent. Do you have a, any calibration words for that one? Blurp. Okay, stay there. Um, can you get? Can you look at it with the bubble cam, please? Just so I'm gonna rack out, and I don't want it to. Come on. Zoom in, Panos, if you like. Nice. There's quite a bit of current here. Any black balloons? Yeah, 
thank you. Okay, we're ready. Mike, if you can turn off. Uh, yeah. Thank you, sir. When you're done. All right, buddy, that's good. All right. All right. All right, all right, all right. So I think what, I think, Lynette, what we were doing last time worked pretty well. So maybe let's start with point two in case we see really interesting things, but bump to point three if it stays like this. Okay, sounds good. Um, Which direction are we heading? Upslope is to the west, so we'll be heading that way. Okay. Bridge nav. All right, let's look up a little bit. Good morning. <laughs> Can we have what? three zero meters west at point two knots, please? Three zero meters west. Oh, uh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Zero point two knots, yeah. please. I'm so sad I can't hear this. Thank you. A sponge. <laughs> this is, it was just a new one today. Very emphatic. Good morning. <laughs> I'm gonna zoom in there, Pano. All right, you have exactly two hours of this watch. Perfect. Hylanema. What was the name of that one? I think that was the one I, I was referring to as the mushroom sponge that one day. Oh, I think this is the Hylanema sponge. Hylanema, okay. H-Y-A-L, Hyalonema. The kind of more squat form of this not stocked has been called the pot belly sponge. We can move on. Okay, I'm zooming out. <coughs> uh, can you turn down the iris a little on um, Adelina? Just to uh, kind of get some of that blowout out of the way. Yeah, that's fine. That's good. Thank you. Sure. Oh, that's all right. Lots of rocks. Like a rock. Oh. 